Hi, Frank. This is Sherry. As a loan officer at a real estate company, Sherry Osorio knew exactly what she was doing when she refinanced her Southern California home two years ago with an adjustable rate mortgage. Some toast. She wanted to make home improvements and buy her kids a car. What Sherry didn't count on was the real estate market tanking along with her commissions. Her home has lost half its value. She now owes $40,000 more than it's worth, and her payments are set to double next summer. I felt confident that some of my equity was going to be there, and I would just refinance again. And because now I'm upside down, that's not an option. Sherry could be part of another coming wave of foreclosures. 3.4 million homes are forecast to be foreclosed through 2011. Government programs have not stopped the foreclosure freefall, but some lenders are finding it's now in their best interest to do so. Lenders lose between forty and fifty thousand dollars on every single foreclosure that they do. Lenders are not set up to be property managers. We don't want to own these properties. One of the most aggressive relief programs is from Bank of America. It's modifying mortgages for three hundred ninety-five thousand borrowers cutting interest rates to as low as 2.5 percent and reducing loan balances. Other lenders may follow as support grows for new government programs, allowing people to swap their risky mortgages for stable 30-year fixed loans. If you fear there's going to be a problem, time is your ally. Credit counselor Natalie Lorenz says struggling homeowners should contact their lenders even before they miss a payment. You may have time to work with the lender to come up with a better payment plan that works better in your budget. You may want to get help from a credit counselor who can walk you through your options, but if they ask you to prepay for their advice, it's likely a scam. Sherry Osorio is getting ready to negotiate with her bank, hoping to swap her adjustable rate mortgage for one she can afford. This is my goal, is to have the principal reduced and have my payment fixed and affordable in lieu of foreclosure. Because at this point, neither side can afford to just walk away. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.